السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا بینفس اینڈ دا مرسی فل آل پریز از بیٹ فل اللہ دا لارڈ آف دا ورلڈ اینڈ سیلوٹیشنز اپون آور نوبل پروفٹ محمد پیس بی اپون ہم مائی ڈیئر رسپیکٹڈ برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز مے دا پیس اینڈ بلیسنگز آف آل مائی ٹی اللہ بی اپون ایچ اینڈ ایوری ون آف یو ویر ایور یو آر واچنگ اینڈ لسننگ می دیر از مینشن ویری بیوٹیفل حدیث دا پروفٹ آف آل مائی ٹی اللہ سیڈ The closest to me on the day of judgment will be the one who recited the most Durood Sharif upon me in this world. The one who sends the most salutations upon our noble Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him will be closest to the Prophet of Almighty Allah on the day of judgment. So being a Ummati, being a believer of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him We should send salutations and drood upon him as much as possible. Beautiful incident I am going to mention. This incident mentioned in Ihyaul Uloom. A fire worshipper used to have his claws sewn by Hazrat Sayyiduna Khayyat. Hazrat Sayyiduna Khayyat is one of the biggest scholar of Islam, Sufi. And each time he would give a fake coin to Hazrat Sayyiduna Khayyat, which he accepted it knowingly. But each time in his absence, his student didn't accept the fake coin. When Hazrat Sayyiduna Khayyat, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, returned back from somewhere, And he got to know that his student didn't accept the fake coin from that fire worshipper. So he asked his student, why didn't you accept the fake coin? For many years, he has been giving me a fake coin, which I always accepted it so that he would not give it to any other Muslim. Allahu Akbar. Just imagine my dear respected brothers and sisters. حضرت سیدنا خیات آور سینٹ رحمت اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ فار مینی ایئرز ہی ہیز بین ایکسیپٹیڈ اے فیک کوئن وائی سو دیٹ دا فائر ورشپر نان مسلم ہی ووڈ ناٹ گیو اٹ ٹو اینی ادر مسلم سو ڈڈ یو سی مائی ڈیئر رسپیکٹڈ بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز آور سینٹ رحمت اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ ہیڈ اے سنسیئر فیلنگز آف رسپیکٹنگ ادر مسلم They used to bear him and their personal laws to just save other strange Muslims. Whereas nowadays, a brother rubbing his own brother, people are just satisfying their own desires. They don't think about other people. So if you can save someone from a small loss, you must do it because Almighty Allah will save you from a big loss and fear almighty Allah and justice among the people don't betray and don't cheat with them this and is the lesson we should learn from this incident so if someone is cheating with you someone betraying you you don't need to say anything to him and just leave him on the decision of almighty Allah if we make dua that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala Grant us tawfiq to become a nice Muslim according to the teachings of Islam, according to the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam.